The Fraglock compression screw is a two-part cannulated screw designed to reduce dorsal fragments to the Aculock 2 VDR plates, distal radius fragment specific plates, Volar Lunate suture plate, Aculock VDR plates, and Aculock EX plates. After appropriate plate placement and initial screw insertion, drill bicortically with the 2.0 quick release drill through the 2.0 drop-in drill guide or locking drill guide. Measure the screw length using the distal radius probe. If the measure is between 16 and 24 millimeters, it is acceptable to use the fuchsia colored frag lock compression screw with the frag lock compression sleeve. If the measure is between 20 and 28 millimeters, it is acceptable to use the gold colored long frag lock compression screw and compression sleeve. Drill unicortically with the 2.5 millimeter frag lock drill. The shoulder of the drill must stop against the top of the Fraglock 2.5 mm drill guide. Insert the Fraglock compression sleeve in the plate using the cruciform driver handle and 1.5 mm hex driver tip. Insert a K wire through the compression sleeve, passing it to the dorsal side of the radius. After making a small incision dorsally, a Heiss retractor is used to maintain soft tissue clearance. Insert and tighten the Fraglock compression screw until the desired compression is achieved. Ensure the Fraglock compression screw head is fully seated on the bone and that the tendons are clear of the screw head. This should be done with fluoroscopic assistance to avoid overcompression of the dorsal cortex. Remove the targeting guide and use the Fraglock depth gauge to ensure that there is the recommended amount of thread engagement between the Fraglock compression screw components. The laser band on the depth gauge should be visible when it is inserted into the frag lock sleeve. If it is not visible, the frag lock compression screw should be tightened one revolution and then rechecked. Repeat until the laser band is visible.